for the current transformers, you can punch in the data, the substation, the bay, the phase, the location, etc. So basically, it's a header. Then the nominal um, information, the nominal secondary current, the nominal accuracy class, whether is it a CT, uh, measuring CT or a protection, etc. And you can define here a few taps of your CT, which is very useful because afterwards, when you do the testing, you will not need to fill in that many forms because you've done it already here. And the last tab here would be the tolerances. So the tolerances basically define in the end whether something is a pass or a fail or not okay. We also have this option of not okay. Once I've done this, I will press test button and I'll enter the field, the part which is dedicated to transformer, to current transformer testing. If you need to do some uh, amendments, some changes to your previously set header, you can go here and change it or if you're satisfied you can do something which we called a test plan and the test plan would be a set of tests you can run on your transformers so for example if you always do three same tests ratio then I will add to test plan then I will do also an excitation curve and for example a winding resistance since I defined that my CT has four taps this is now a ready test plan which will be done step by step test by test. At the end, you will get here a tick whether because it will be executed and red, yellow or green color in a pass or fail column. Now, if I wanted to do a single test, we'll take two examples for a CT. One of them is ratio polarity and burden. It would look like this. So since he read from the before that my tap one is 800 to one, the ratio, nominal ratio is 800. He's asking me only what is the current, the testing current I want to use. And after I connect, basically I will just press a button. Of course, I will get this because I have no internal transformer right now. Anyway, he would do a test in about 10 seconds and you will get an information. What's the actual ratio? What is the actual ratio? What is the ratio error? And you get the information about the polarity and the corrected secondary current. So this completely tests your ratio and you can also, if you decide to put a tick here, measure the burden on your CT because you have to see how much is the burden you're supplying.